if you are a dotnet developer and you are working with the collections then creating the collection defining the collection is a little bit complex as compared to other programming languages this is because we have to use so many new keywords and we also have to use the type as well but now in c sharp 12 there is a great feature with name collection expressions and this collection expression is used to make your code extremely simple let's understand how this will work here i have created one console application by using the dotnet 8 if i go to the solution explorer and here you can see if i just open my cs pros file then you will notice i'm using this net 8.0 and i'm using the rc1 as of now before some time if you wanted to work with the arrays then this is how we used to work so let's say this is int array and here i'm writing this array one this was the basic way of defining the array but then there were some more changes so let's say here i'm having this two and we just removed this right this was also one of the way then in the third way we were not having anything over here and let's just use three over here so this is how we were working with the array so far in c sharp programming language but starting from c sharp 12 you can use the collection expressions over here how you can do that so again let's add one more line and in the collection expression let's give array 4 over here you do not have to use these curly braces rather you can use the square bracket like this and everything will work as expected right if i just loop through all the values and here i'm adding this array 4 and just pass the index like this let's just save everything and run this application this time here you can see on the console screen i'm getting all the values one by one let's add a few more over here like this run it again and let's see what is the output you can see we are getting all the values which is one two three and four now at this point you might think what is the need of having this collection expression because this is something we used to have and now we are just simply replacing this curly bracket with the square bracket but wait there is more let's talk about now list let's just remove all this array declaration because we don't need them and this time let's work with the list so let's say i'm having this list of integer and the name is my list one and if i want to work with the list then this is how we can do that so like this and here again let's assign few more values so this time let's say it is 10 11 12 now again there are few more changes in this list as well so let's use two over here and you can simply use this new keyword you do not have to use this list and you can simply remove this entire part this will also work but now if you are using the collection expression then you don't even have to use this particular text so let's use the three over here and let's just remove this one as well and here we have to use again the square bracket you can avoid all this text that we used to have for example this new and this type you don't need anything let's just remove this one as well and simply let's put proper name so this time let's say it is array and it is my list okay here let's just remove this four and this one as well right now if i want to display all the values of this list then i can simply use this for each over here let's just comment this thing for a while and just run it this time you can notice i'm getting all the values from this list here you can see the code is much more cleaner and we are using the similar approach for both the types the exact value will be defined based on this type but on the right hand side you do not have to make any extra effort now let's assume that you want to create one more list over here so let's say it is one more list and again the type is let's say it is integer and here i'm writing this my list two and in this list basically i want to assign all the values of this my list plus i want to add few more variables so what i can do over here is i can simply use this spread operator like this and here i'm using this my list right if you are doing only this particular task it means all the values of this my list will be added in this new list let's display all the values of this my list to on the console screen here you can see we are getting 10 11 and 12 and these are the values we are printing from this my list 2 now let's assume that in this my list 2 you want to concatenate few more elements so for example here i want to add let's say it is 20 that's it you just simply have to put a comma and add your value and it will be concatenated automatically let's just run this application again 
here you can notice we are getting all the values right there is more what if i want to add this array as well in this list so here i want to use this array and again to work with the array you have to use this spread operator so here i'm writing this array like this so save all the changes run this application and this time you will notice that we will get all the elements from both these collections let's just run it and here you can see we are getting all the elements these are coming from the my list one and these are coming from the array what if i want to add more over here so you can do that as well just put a comma and assign your values like this run it you can see we are having this 100 as well over here if you want to put something in middle or in the beginning then you can do that as well so let's say it is 200 just put a comma here as well let's say it is 300 and let's just run it and here you can notice i'm getting all the elements this is how you can work with the collection expressions in c sharp 12. the main concept behind this collection expression is to make your code more cleaner and more readable let me know your thoughts about this feature in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.